Welcome to Race Classic TV. In this edition, we cover the Guards Trophy race for GT cars at the Bank Holiday Weekend HSCC Alton Park Gold Cup event. Due to the wet conditions, we saw more of this sign than we like to. Now, we didn't start out to make a blooper reel, but the heavy rain which fell during the earlier race left the track very wet despite the 20 minute Formula 5000 and F2 Derek Bell Trophy race running just prior to the GT cars taking to the track. Here, Campfield shows more tail than a $2 hooker in his number 12 Austin Healy 3000. Rebecca Ruff and her Porsche 911 did this little maneuver for the first three laps before bringing things under control on the fourth. Here you can see Martin Stretton in his Lotus 26R and Campfield in his Austin 3000 putting on a show. However, both retired midway through the race, and while most of the other drivers managed better lines through the curve, they couldn't help wiggling their hips as they did so. You can really see the spray coming off number 72, Jamie Boot, and his TVR Griffith 400 as he comes into Spen Central, otherwise known as Druid's Corner. And here comes Camfield. Just how sideways can he get that Austin 3000 and still make it round Druid's? Rebecca Ruff and another off, but she keeps on smiling. Here Robert Berry shows us you can get a 911 through Druid's in the wet. In fact, he manages a first in his B2 class, an 11th overall. But it wasn't just tail-happy 911s and Healy 3000s that were finding Druids a challenge, as Robert Farrell demonstrates in his Jaguar E-Type. Does that count as cutting the corner? Now it's the Marcos Volvo GT of Sewell and Ricketts turn to find the gravel at Druids. They were lucky enough that it only took a push to get them clear, allowing them to still finish second in class. This isn't looking good. That sideways even for Campfield. You knew this was coming, and he manages to do such a job the marshals can't get him free. You can't say they didn't try though, but when they head the other way, it can't be good news. Campfield had to be pulled free by a recovery vehicle, but continued on for a couple more laps. The track is really drying up quickly now, and the speed's increasing with it. Here comes local ace and overall race winner John Minshaw in his blisteringly fast Jaguar E-Type.
Here's a good shot of Paul Castaldini in his ultra-rare, special-body Jaguar E-Type, one of only two made. Looks like this is it for Campfield. Here's late entry number 95, Welch, demonstrating just how well an Austin Healey 3000 can handle Druids. He managed fifth place overall and fourth in his C2 class. And now the victory lap with plenty of waves for the camera. Coming up, some fantastic close-ups of all the class winners.